When you want to put notes on a drawing, you can use the callout tool. The callout tool puts a note and also puts an arrowhead on the end of it. So I'm just going to right click and edit my annotations for this viewport. So I could just click here and I could write a note. Now at the moment I'm getting my information from a database. I'm getting my notes from a database. But I can also go back to here and I can say, okay, just put the note on, just put the label and let's see what we've got. So first of all, we put a note and then we have to type the note. So what is this note going to be all about? So for example, this might be my roofing. I could type roofing, but I could also be a lot more specific. So this is 0.55 base metal thickness, color steel max, and it could be a specific type. It could be, I use one called MC760, and that's a manufacturer's number. So there's quite a lot of information. Now at this point, I probably have to look up my notes and, and see what I'm going to use. Now, there's another way to do this. Uh, let me just finish putting in this so you can see what it looks like. BMT color steel. I'll just put that in at the moment. So let's enter that and you can see I've got color steel. If I double click on it, I can edit that and I can add more information and so on. But the problem is that I may have already typed this once before. And so it'd be really nice if I could just go to a database and grab that information. I go back to my call out, I've got the option here of getting my text from a database. Now I've already got one selected. This one here, it's in Tom's Cottage and it's my notes database. So I can choose that and all the notes that I need for this little project are already here. So let's go back and we'll place the same note. So let's click there, we'll put the roofing note. I'm just going to hold my shift key down. So let's have a look. I've already structured this. So let's have a look. So it's roofing, that's my roofing. So you can see I've got 0.4 base metal thickness trim deck, five rib color steel. It's on self-supporting building. Part. That's a lot of information that I don't have to type in all over again. Let's have a look at another note. So I'll put one here. I'm going to put in some purlins. Oh, I've got purlins. Let's have a look. I've got gutters, purlins. Where's my structure? I may not have a, a, a an item for that. Timber. Oh, yeah, there's my purlins. Cool, so I've got a note for purlins, and that's quite a detailed note. I'm going to put my vertical position and my horizontal position is going to go to the right. There it is there. And you can see it's quite a long note. It's got a lot of information on it, so that's kind of handy. How do I get all that information there? What if I want to create a new note database from scratch? So what I'll do is I'll double click on this note. And down the bottom here, we've got our notes manager just down the bottom here, click on that. And now I can create a brand new note database. So if I click on new, I'm going to store it in a location and I'll be able to find it. So I've named my database demo database because I'm just going to demonstrate it. Let's save that. And there it is there, there's my note database. Now there are no sections here at the moment. I want to add a section and I tend to use something called the coordinated building index, which where I live, is a note database or a structure for coordinated building indices. So we can use it for drawings, we can use it for our specification, we can use it for our library. Uh, it's a note system that works really well. Uh, when I worked in England, we used to use CISFB, uh, which is one that I can still remember even after all these years. So 23 was flooring. So I'm going to call it 23 flooring. And that gives me a section. And from the section, I can then start to add a note. So I'm going to add a note. Now this note is going to be uh, 18 millimeter plywood. So exterior grade plywood. Uh, grade C dash D. Now, at the moment, I've got my first 42 characters, so I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to call it flooring because that's what I want my flooring note to be. I want to call it flooring. You'll see later on why I want to do that. So there we are. We've got a note. Uh, let's go add a new note system. So 27 was roofs. And says that we can add another section. 21 was walls, I seem to remember. 
walls. So things that I want to put on the walls, I can add to that. So the idea is that you create a section, a main section, and then you create your notes inside it. So I'm going to go back and choose an existing note database that I've already got. Now that I've shown you how to create your own. Cool. So here we are. I've got my own note database. This is my coordinator building index, 23 for foundations, 31 for concrete, 38 for timber, 42. These numbers actually relate to my specification clauses as well. So it's quite useful for me to do that. So if we go back to foundations, I think I added a flooring note here. This is it here. And this is whatever grade I want to put. Now this is being used on a real project, so I don't want to edit this too much. But you can see it's much easier for me to actually grab a whole lot of notes now. So okay to that. Yes, we'll save the changes and save that note. Cool. And okay. So there it is, there's my note. So the idea is that we can then drag these notes around. Uh, I've got my Perl and note. Maybe I can drag it over here. And I tend to use this option over here for the call out where I want that to be left justified. Uh, you'll also notice that my angle isn't perfect for this one. I want that to be, I want it, to, I want it to actually to be vertical to that point there. Get the G, can I get the snap point? Oh, it doesn't want to do that, okay. So I'm going to put that as my Perlin note that's going to go there. I'm just going to lift that one up there. Uh, so I've got my Perlins. What about my studs? So I can drag a copy of this note down. I just held down my option or my control key. There's my note. Let's uh, actually stick that onto my stud there. And these would be my studs. So I can double click. So let's look for timber. We got studs. Studs. Cool. So I've got my studs there. And there's my stud note. And so it makes it very quick if you use this database. Thanks for watching.